Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, we have a, a special older radio here tonight. Um, older meaning 1982 to 1987 make. Um, it is a Rockwell's Collins HF 8050A. Uh, it's been modified to uh, do some additional tuning. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, this actual radio came from the Yugoslav army um, back during, before the fall of the wall and all that kind of thing, before Yugoslavia divided. Um, Marshal Tito was ne neither played well with Soviets or with the Americans, but because of that, uh, they got to, he got a special, in Yugoslavia got a special dispensation to get American technology in, and during this time, this was top of the line. Uh, a lot of embassies and stuff were using these, I think, as well as some, I don't, I can't see where a, a, a hobbyist would be, a ham radio be, operator would be using these. Uh, during that time, we, I would just think they were so expensive. These were the more affordable to hide, but they were, they reused a lot of the pots in the 8050 series. Uh, they reused a lot of the parts and things like that. Anyway, let's get started on the radio. Less, less, less of me jawing. Um, basically, it's designed, the design is pretty much classic Collins of the time. Uh, big internal speaker, which is pretty nice. VU meter here, it's, it will turn it on in a second. Faults here. You have uh, modes here, SSB and CW are treated as the same thing, AM and ISB, independent sideband, which um, there were several models in this series, some of which had ISB, some of which had two channels, some had four, and then there was also a remote. So I'm not going to go over those. You can look in Fred Osman's book if you're really interested. Um, bandwidths here, start out 16 as the roofing filter, and as you notice, that's the only number on here. Uh, upper and lower sideband here, U and L, and then you have A, B, C, D, E, uh, which are five additional uh, additional bandwidths that you can choose. That equates down here to the bandwidth selector. You see uh, 16, and then you have A and B. A is a 6 kilohertz filter, B is a 3 kilohertz filter, C is a 1 kilohertz, and D is 500 hertz, and E is 200 hertz. So some good narrow filters on this, but also good AM filters as well. I think the USB and LSB filters are, um, what are they? They are 2. Point, I think they're 2.7. I think they're 2.7. So uh, that's where we're, uh, those are both, those are fixed and they're both, they're both the same. Have to have that so the ISB will work properly. Um, so on the bottom here, we have different settings that your meter can have here. Um, and it depends on which channel you're listening to and all that. You, you know, the, the VU meter I'm talking about here. Um, I just put it on receiver SIG because I listen to it either in ASB, an AM or uh, AM or uh, SSB most of the time. Or, you know, so it's not, I'm not doing I, ISB on that. Most, I don't have that kind of setup. Um, and then you have the AF gain, which is basically your volume control here. This is your squelch, which I have turned off because otherwise it, it's a t it, it actually does a very good job of blinking signals. Um, and you have your phones here with channel A and B, and then there's a volume knob in inside there too. And then your RF gain, which is the amount of signal coming into the radio, and which we talked about. These are your various VFO controls. You have automatic client control, uh, to, uh, control here, off and on, uh, variable BFO or fixed BFO. Channel A, B, or both. In this case, that's for the speaker display. And AGC's fast off is the center toggle, and slow is the lo lower toggle. So that'll mess you up if you're not paying attention. Uh, then you have local control here. Oh, there we go. Local control, remote, or monitor. So you can local, and if you're in remote, is there's a center. If you wanted to come in and monitor it and you're having it in remote control, which this one is able to be controlled remotely, you just press it down and it springs back. You can, just for a second, you listen to it, make sure it's okay, then release it. But I'm going to run it in local mode because that's where we are. We're not tied to a computer somewhere. The modes, as I talked about, SSB, S, uh, CW, AM, and ISB, and the indicators are over here. So, come on, where are we? There we are, focus. SSB, CW, and AM, and ISB. And then you have your power button here. So let's go ahead and fire her up and, and see how she fi how she works here. Oh, gotta plug it, push it in all the way. 
And as you can see, not a bad speaker. And you can see, I'm gonna talk to, I'll, I'll talk about the tuning, but you can see the TFT display here is really nice. And you can select through these key, these little buttons right here, you can select all of the different things in here you have to do. Then you have a tuning button, a tuning knob there too. The great thing about this, tuning on this with the vertical knob like this is a little bit of a pain. So uh, Zlatka, uh, Zlatka Pernjak uh, 9A, A6SUE um, came up with, well, he's the one who did the mod on the radio. He did a basically, uh, I'll turn this down. Yeah, basically he did a remote control for this. And believe it or not, it's via uh, Bluetooth. So um, it actually connects from here to here without wires. This is run with uh, three AA cell batteries. Uh, the firmware can be updated with a USB stick inside there. I looked inside and that's what it looked like it was. It had a version written on it and that kind of thing. Um, so let's turn this on and see how that works. And I'm gonna. I'm going to try to get both of these. Okay, there's a switch on the side. I'm not going to do this. There we, there we go. If you see it, it kind of comes up. And it actually has the Bluetooth symbol up in the upper right-hand corner. And it's read everything that we have there. And what I can do here now is do the same tuning I did on the box. So you see? And... On here, you, you're able to see a lot better the, the various buttons. Up here, they're all in black on black, and it's very slick looking, but unless you're doing it by memory, uh, or the radio's up at eyesight or above, it's hard to see those. So this is what this to do here. Um, you have your bands up and down, you have step, and you have memory. I'm not sure how many memories this has in it, or how it does that. It would be in this part, because I don't think originally there were any memories in this machine. Oh, we'll, do, we'll do it. Oh, there we go. I'll just quit buffing things once in a while. Just because I like things even. Sorry. OCD kicking in here. Uh, we have uh, channels of VFO, variable VFO versus VFO, uh, VFO, virtual VFO, and this is a reset of that. And the light, which, well, I guess if you. Yeah, it does dim it a little bit. If you turn it back on, it's right there. Of course, the, per, the that's for a more memory, a more of a uh, battery saving device. If you want to turn the TFT off on here and use it on the radio, you can do that. Um, I don't know how long the, the battery cycle through on this. Uh, haven't had it that long, so. Um, but anyway, so that's the layout of this. Now to see how these work. And I'm just, I'm not going to point out, I'm just going to point at the remote for right now because that's the thing we're looking at. Okay. If I go up, hand band, or down, that's down and up. I'm getting my directions. If we go, then we can go down one more. One more. Yeah, it got actually cycles around to the upper hand bands. And if I want to go back, I can do that. And go the other way. And then seven. 10, 14, 18, 21, 24, and 27, and 28. And then we're back to one. And from here, I mean, we can we can tune around and drop this down into AM. But what I'm gonna do is, if you see the numbers here, uh, you have 100 hertz, 10 hertz, kilohertz, well, actually 100, 100 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. There's, that's the steps. Let's see, we go like that. Now, if I do that, see, it's kind of like a better, you've got a, a little less fine grain tuning. Uh, if I do the step again, it booms, you know, boom, 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 boom. And if I do it one more time, boom, 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 boom. Okay, and if I do this again, It'll do it to the 10 hertz. This thing, the, the radio only tunes to 10 hertz. So while the display says it's down to one hertz, <laughs> it doesn't do that simply because it's a limitation of the radio. So I'll bring it back up here.
going back to what you were saying earlier with the GEO IT modernization strategy that it's... It is a bit cumbersome to turn it around because it can't just like... It would be nice if it had an up-down megahertz button, but it doesn't do that. Um, so you have to manually do it. That's way better than it would have been originally been with a, with here, with, which would have been a, a thumb wheel... Um, a thumb wheel decadic, in other words, each digit you'd have to print, you know, cycle through the numbers to get where you wanted to be on the on the on the frequency. Um, so, I guess uh, other things to keep in mind on this um, duplicate controls on the remote. There's no documentation for the mod that I can find anywhere. Um, maybe somebody has it. If you do, please let me know in the comments and uh, or just text me a. Text me, a, text me a link or a copy of it or whatever you wanted to do. I'd be love to have that so I could actually look at the specs on the on the, the mod particularly. The radio is good, and it's well known. It's, it's a famous radio. Um, built like a tank, as you can see. I've got uh, a big old honking heavy JRC, a couple of speakers, and a honking heavy um, Siemens on top of that. So... It's built into the, the typical case, desktop you case you get with, with, uh, with the uh, Collins radios. So, um, other than that, oh, I did one thing I did want to keep tell you: um, stock 8050s did not come with. Did, we're not allowed to have seven different uh, freak rate, uh, bandwidths like you see down there. Uh, what? What Latko did was go through and part of, and part of the mod on this one was to basically go through and put a uh, a Collins S50 or 851S slash 1 dash 1 daughter board, memory daughter board on here or so uh, filter board on there. So basically it's got a, a filter board from a different model Collins which allows for seven uh, discrete filters, by bandwidth filters. So that's another additional thing that, that uh, makes this radio kind of special. But it's uh, it's it's quite it's quite a thing. It's quite a performer. Um, and uh, any comments or questions, I'd love to hear them. You guys are great about putting comments in there, and I appreciate every one of them. Um, so keep that coming in, and we'll we've got a bunch more ra uh, videos ready to do. So I've got a. I'm in the middle of building up my radio room right now, and uh, things will go a lot smoother, and I'll be a lot more regular once I can get that up and going. But right now, you see, I've got a few radios to work on. I've got some more over here, so that uh, like the Telatra that I think you'll think is pretty special, and uh, you know, the AEGs. Uh, I always love AEGs. So anyway, if you have a, a request or anything like that, let me know for either even for a uh, another radio you'd like to see um, reviewed. Or if you'd like to see one of my previous reviews done better, um, then please let me know. I'm, uh, I'm learning as I go along here, and I'm freehanding this. So, Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.